happy Thursday, Jays, and welcome back to KLHS. I'm Olivia Book. And I'm Drew Higgins. I hope you're having a great day so far. Let's get started with some throwbacks for Throwback Thursday. On this day, they found the most famous sunken ship in history, the Titanic. And in 1922, New York made a law that all pool rooms should now be changed to billiards. And that's all that happened today. <laughs> Not much, I know, but just more of an excuse to make today count, and you can make tomorrow's history. And the Blue Jay Nation kickoff will be held tonight on the new turf field. At the kickoff, there will be many exciting performances from the LHS Orchestra, Band, Cheer, Sapphires, and Choir. And along with all of that, there will be awesome food, games, prizes, new Blue Jay spirit wear, and an introduction to all, all of our fall sports teams. It's going to be a great time, and we hope to see everyone out there. Reporter Hannah Sanders brings us more for tonight. I'm just really glad that the orchestra gets an opportunity to play on the field and be part of the LHS um, vibe and feel of the school. And so we just want to be recognized and play for the community and we're looking forward to it very much. The routine that we're doing is a jazzy palm number to lose control by Missy Elliott. It is choreographed by two of our seniors, Taylor Barford and Hannah Doherty. Thank you, Hannah. Just to highlight one awesome thing that they will be having at the kickoff tonight, there will be a dunk tank from 6 to 8.45 with all of your favorite students and teachers being dunked, like the Swope Brothers, Mr. Rajkop, and Dr. Adams. Yes, I don't know about you, Olivia, but I know the one person that I'm looking forward to getting dunked the most is definitely Bennett. I think I'm looking forward to him, too. <laughs> the Bass Fishing Club will be having their first meeting of the year today during Liberty Hour in room 207. And Creative Writing Club will also be having their first meeting of the year today from 315 to 4 in room 609. But the club meetings do not stop there. If you're thinking of a job in the medical field, Medical Leaders of Tomorrow will be having their first meeting of the year this Friday in Mr. Block's room during Liberty Hour. And Orchestra will be having their first Sheridan's First Friday sale tomorrow, Friday, September 2nd, during lunch. The cost is $3 per concrete and it will be cash only. They are located in the concession stand by the Little Theater. Help support the LHS Orchestra with a tasty treat from Sheridan's. Leadership will be selling blackout t-shirts during lunch for $5. The shirts will be worn tomorrow when the Jays football takes on Liberty North. And attention all loud and proud Blue Jays. Are you headed to the big game tomorrow night? Grab your blackout gear and join us from 5 to 6.30 in the Maybe Center North lot for the first annual Blue Jay tailgate. This event is free for all Liberty High School students and will feature tailgate games, music, surprise performances by some of our favorite Blue Jay spirit groups, and tons of fun. Food will also be available for $2 and includes hot dogs, chips, cookies, and a drink. Come out and celebrate with all of your friends and get ready to cheer on our Blue Jay football team onto a victory. But since we only have one day left until the big game, let's head over to Brett to see how this weather will hold up for Friday night. Thanks, Drew. And yes, the weather will hold up for the big game Friday night. But first, for today, we have a high of 80 and a low of 57. This is perfect weather for the Blue Jay Nation kickoff tonight. For tomorrow, we have a high of 77 and a low of 56, which is wonderful, oh, sorry, wonderful football weather for the big game. Now that's all I got for you guys today. Back to the front desk. Thank you, Brett. The Technology Student Association will have their first meeting tomorrow, Friday, September 2nd, during Liberty Hour in Room 30. For more information, please contact Mr. Bowden in Room 410. The Lumberjack Club is looking for brave men and women to help them fight the scourge on the human race that is pancakes. They'll meet in Mr. Zavis' room at 715 to 8 every Friday. Join this noble group in its effort to save the human race while gobbling down flapjacks at a gargantuan pace. There is no membership fee and no membership limit. Fighting the pancake population is very hard and expensive, so donations are welcome. Students are invited to bring their own syrup if they would like. The Environmental Club will be having their first meeting September 13th during Liberty Hour in Ms. Knowles' room, room 209. And for all you sophomores and juniors planning on taking the ACT this year, Liberty High School is going to be offering ACT prep classes again. The deadline to register is September 16th, and you can register by going to lhs.liberty.k12.mo.us backslash ACT. That's all of our announcements for today, so let's head over to Hannah Doherty to see what else is going on in the sports world. What's up, Jays? Girls Tennis Beast Daily 7-2 to last night. The scores were Colby Kelly, 7-10, Alex Rogers, 10-1, Riley Kelly, 10-2, undefeated, Samantha Segerman, 10-1, also undefeated, Anna Purcell, 7-10, Sarah Benson, 10-3. And for doubles, it was Rogers and R. Kelly, 8-0, C. Kelly and Segerman, 8-1, Purcell and Benson, 8-3. Congrats, everybody. That's all sports I have for today. Now back to the front desk. 
Thanks, Hannah. We just heard about a lot of awesome sports teams here at LHS, so now let's throw it to Taylor Barfetti to hear about an awesome club here as well. Thanks, guys. I'm Taylor Barfetti, and I'm here with Michael Ricker, who is a member of the team club at Liberty High School. Can you tell me a little bit about what team is, Michael? Uh, team stands for Technology Education Association of Missouri, and it's basically just a group that meets on Thursdays in room 410, and there's many different sections to the group. Um, there's photography, woodworking, metalworking, graphic design, um, computer architecture, and then once you get to the competition, they actually split it up into smaller groups, class A, B, and C, depending on how many people there are in each section. And you can get scored on a score of 1 to 100, and they base you on your creativity, originality, execution, and just the overall look of the project. How have can people get involved with this club? Um, they can either contact Mr. Blocklinger or Dr. Miller and then meet in room 410 on Thursday. And you can only join the club if you've been a part of any of the technology-focused classes. So if you're in photography or if you're in graphic design, any of those classes, then you qualify to be in the club. Have you won any awards with team? I have. I actually won districts last year, and then I won state the same year for photography. That's awesome. Thanks, Michael. Now back to the front desk. Thank you, Taylor. Before we end today's broadcast, we ask that everyone please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. That's all we have for today. For Olivia Book, Brett Schweitzer, Hannah Doherty, and all of our amazing production crew, I'm Drew Higgins. Have a great day, Jays.